So happy Sunday. Welcome to a new vlog. I am up this Saturday morning trying to clean. I've dusted our bedroom. I've started on the kitchen downstairs, put a load of laundry in, um, folded a load of laundry, and now I am switching out seasons slash purging. We're trying to get our house um, ready for the market, which is a terrible time with the mortgage rates going up. Yeah, that's pretty much what I have on the agenda today. It is classic weekend in Birmingham, so um, we probably head down to Legion Field today to see family and hang out with them for a little bit. So we have that coming up. And Bubs is downstairs shaving. I got him, someone posted about this on Instagram and I decided let me try it out because Bubs is always like shaving in between his hair and grooming appointments and so this is a really cool like catch all beard thing like when you're trimming it kind of like attaches to the mirror in front of you and all of your like hair shavings will go down into this kind of apron thingy that catches all of it. I thought it was pretty cool. And it's it would make a really good gift idea um, if you that in the description below if y'all are interested. It's a really, I think it would make a really cute um, stocking stuffer or like an additional Christmas gift. Like I like to give people an assortment of gifts um, when I gift. And so that would be a really cute idea to add on I think. So something really random about me is that I collect Hard Rock Cafe shirts. I haven't gotten one in a while now. Um, but yeah, everywhere that I visit, I try to go to the local Hard Rock Cafe and pick up a t-shirt. Um, I've gotten, you know, this is this would be Hollywood, um, Florida. And I think I've got two from there. This is Miami. Um, let's see, this one's New Orleans. I've got two from there as well. And then Mexico. But yeah, that is just totally random. I haven't picked up a new one in a while. If y'all collect something totally random, let me know in the comments below. Um, I was like, yeah, I forgot it's gonna be a lot of grilling smokes. And yeah. Cigar smoke around. So today is Sunday. I just got back from a friend's birthday brunch and this is what I wore today. It's like a jewelry day. Um, I felt like layers and so I wore this sleeveless uh, black tank dress and I wore this H&M wrap dress over it but I wore it kind of like a long cardi. Um, it's got balloon sleeves and it's got this yeah it's like a wrap dress style but i just wanted to be comfortable wanted to enjoy my brunch y'all so i just wore it as a long um like i said a long cardi um went for some fun flats these who what wear um target flats from several years ago it's got fun um fringe detail and then this is a kurt geiger shoulder bag that I got from Nordstrom Rack a couple of years ago and so yeah that was the look for today's brunch um I'm going to start getting ready and shooting some content for the following week so I might be back on here to go through maybe some of the items that I got I did get a delivery in from Macy's today so I'll probably show y'all what I got but Okay, so doing a little unboxing here with some of the things that I picked up from 
the Macy's sale that had like a 30% off sale. I think it's good until uh, this Monday, so it would have already passed by the time I post this. But I know I posted um, about the sale on my Instagram. Let's see, we've got some advertising included for DoorDash and this is HelloFresh. I've actually thought about doing HelloFresh. I've heard a lot of good things. Um, I got a free gift with my purchase and let's see what that is. Oh, it's a bunch of perfume samples. Um, let's see, we've got the new Prada that just came out. Um, I've heard good things about that. This is an oldie but goodie, I hear. Alien Goddess, um, Victor and Rolf, um, Flower Bomb. That's a classic. Um, this is new for me, Good Fortune by Victor and Rolf. And this is one that I own, Idol, Idol by Lancome. It is a really good, like, springy summer scent, in my opinion. So that's nice. Um, I can try some of these out. I like to keep um, samples at the office just in case I need to smell good really quick. <laughs> or you come back from lunch and you ate Mexican. Um, that is also something you can do. So this is an Armani gift set that I picked up. I actually plan on breaking this apart and gifting it to some of the, um, some of the ladies in my family. These smell absolutely amazing. I don't know if y'all have smelled Giorgio Armani scents, especially the C line that they have. All three of these are really amazing. So I like to go ahead and take advantage of the sales and pick up my holiday gifts. And I've picked this up for a girlfriend exchange um, me and a couple of my sorority sisters, plus another girl that we're all mutually friends with, we do a holiday exchange, um, during the beginning of December, and I got them makeup erasers. Um, this is a great, uh, way to start adding, like, a little bit of sustainability and environmentally friendly routine, um, into your day-to-day -day habits. These are washable, reusable, they last forever, I've got a couple um, of these from Amazon that I picked up and I've used them ever since. And I have totally replaced all of my makeup wipes that I used to use with these. And so I thought this would be a good gift for them. And so there's four of us. Well, there's five of us plus me, but I already have one. So yeah, this is what I got them. Um, I'm also, I also give them like another little small gift. So I will be looking out for what that's going to be, but so far this is the start of my little gifts that I'm going to So I am headed to a girls dinner. We are going to Cern West in Five Points. It is somewhere that's um, very nostalgic to us after, um, after chapter meetings. I'm a Delta Gamma. And so after chap chapter meetings during college, we used to always go to Surin and have our lunch brunch. And it is like an Asian fusion place, or I guess it's a, it's a Thai restaurant. And their sushi is really, really good. And so we wanted to like reminisce on old times, I guess. And so we're going there tonight. And it's a random weekday and I'm not really dressed up, just really casual. I got, a package in and this is a purchase that was recommended by one of my girlfriends um, I have been struggling to find like a really comfortable flat like a go-to flat that I can wear to work um, I have really fat feet they swell and she told me that she has purchased this pair from Old Navy and it's almost like a dupe of the Rothy's that are knit and I mean it almost reminds me of the um, Vivea wedges that I have um, obviously the materials are going to be a little bit different um, those are a different price point but 
This knit definitely feels the same. I'm gonna wear these tonight and see how they feel on my feet. Um, they are cushiony inside. Um, they don't have the additional cushion that the Vivea wedges had like on the back heel part and also on the sides. Like the Vivea wedges actually have arch support like within the sides of the um, shoes. So we'll we'll see. We'll we will trial these this week and I'll let y'all know how they do. So happy Friday y'all. We are at my mother-in-law's house and we are cooking Friday dinner. And Abu's over here. You know, Amu's in Bangladesh right now, so we thought we would have a little informal family dinner and Abu and Amu live like five minutes away, so as per usual, Abu's in his cell phone. And we've just whipped up something really quick. The whole family um, contributed. And we've got a healthy green salad. We've got um, some veggie dishes. We're just having a very low calorie type meal. Bubs is helping mom get some of her TV set up, and we're about to enjoy a family dinner. Right, Bubs? Yes, babe. Right, baby. What you're trying to get more in the habit of doing weekly, you know, everybody gets busy with their life. Y'all know how it is, but we're trying to make it a thing, um, at least weekly, if not every other week. My wife can cook. That's what Bubs thinks. I hope it's not one of those things where your husband, you know, is used to eating your food and he really enjoys your food, but you really don't know how to cook. Like, I'm not sure. Cause no, <laughs> babe, you, you get down in the kitchen. My you wife sure? Is, my wife can get down in the kitchen. Yeah. Because, you know, when I moves at home, she don't even let me in the kitchen. She doesn't even let me near the kitchen. I just hope I get a touch of what Amu's skills are. And my Shashri can cook too, my mother-in-law. She can cook too. Yeah. Um, so we're blessed in that we have two moms that can cook. We eat good. We eat really good. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. But um, hope everybody has a good weekend. Here's mom. Ooh, it's a light on me. Okay. <laughs> mom done put some lips on for y'all. <laughs> Telling everything. <laughs> Ain't nothing sacred. Because <laughs> the food is so pretty, you know, and presentation is everything. Presentation is everything. Should have yeah. had my salad beside it, so. Yeah, food is real, real good. Mm -hmm. In fact, y'all can eat from Pump. the TV or whatever y'all want to. Yeah, Pump. 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 pumpkin dinner, eh? Uh, yeah. no, sweet potato. No, Mishti yeah. alu. Are you eating the pumpkin bag? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Is with the, um, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. You did pumpkin and cauliflower, man. I did. What you gonna do about it, bud? I'm gonna see if it's good. You gonna see if it's good? I ain't gonna say nothing till I taste it. <laughs> you know I like pumpkin, so you mess around and mess with this what pumpkin. What you gonna say? Well, uh, don't put the pumpkin back in with the I'm gonna have some, I'm gonna have something to say she messed this pumpkin up. That, that's so pretty. I'm going to eat a salad, Nisa. That's right, so I'm good money now. But no, Nisa. I'm going to eat some back from my rice. You're going to watch the game, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. It is 9 o'clock, November 2nd. Y'all best believe this is about to go down. I'm at my mother in law's house in charge of her Christmas decorations every year. And this is gonna be the second tree that goes in the front room. We just put the tree up and now we are purging mom's jewelry. We're making a donation pile, a keep pile, and yeah, a throwaway pile, which is over here. These are all going to Salvation Army, hopefully to a new home. And I got mom some organizers from Amazon. Let me show y'all real quick. But I got mom 
these organizers that I'm going to be putting it all in to better organize her jewelry so she can actually access everything and actually wear her stuff because this whole time it's been in a box tucked away and not being used so hopefully now that it's in an organized manner in one of her bedside tables she will actually reach for the stuff so midnight and we are finished we've got the most likely to be worn um, <laughs> things up front which are like studs that's pretty much mom's go-to um, colorful earrings rings definitely room to grow these are more fun earrings brooches we've got her necklaces stacked back here mom loves her pearls there's two stacks of those um, there she doesn't always reach for them, so we put them in the back. Watches. These are really her daily, like, go-to things. And this, she already had this jewelry um, stand, so just went ahead and used that and took one of her bedside drawers and measured it. Got these off Amazon, and it did, it did the trick, y'all.